everyone this is Ekatna here so in this video we are going to discuss a problem from partial fractions let's get started problem resolve x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square into partial fraction okay so we are given a fraction now we have to check whether the given fraction is a proper fraction or improper fraction okay let us consider the fraction as p of x by q of x so here p of x is x square minus x plus 1 it is clear that the degree of p of x is 2 and we are having q of x equals to x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square which is x square plus 1 minus 2x so this equals to x cube plus x minus 2x square plus x square plus 1 minus 2x is equals to x cube minus x square 2x square plus x square is minus 2 minus x square minus 2x plus x is minus x plus 1 a trinomial or a so the degree of this q of x is 3 so it is clear that degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x if degree of p of x is less than degree of q of x then we can say that the given fraction is a proper fraction therefore the given fraction is a proper fraction okay solution given proper fraction x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square. Now we can write this fraction as a by x plus 1 plus here you are having x minus 1 whole square so for this you will get two fractions b by x minus 1 plus c by x minus 1 whole square okay so consider it as equation 1 okay x square minus 1 no x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square equals to now take the LCM of x plus 1 x minus 1 x minus 1 whole square so x plus 1 into 1 sir x plus 1 and remaining right as it is now x minus 1 into 1 x minus 1 x minus 1 into x minus 1 is x minus 1 whole square x minus 1 into 1 sir x minus 1 so or LCM will be x plus 1 into x minus 1 into x minus 1 is x minus 1 whole square. Okay. So the numerator will get a into you having x plus 1 in the denominator. So you will include x minus 1 whole square beside a and you are having the denominator of the second term is x minus 1. Since you are having x minus 1 whole square, so you can include 1x minus 1 into x plus 1 beside b. And for c, you are having x minus 1 square, so you can include x plus 1 beside c. Now cancel x plus 1, x plus 1, x minus 1 whole square, x minus 1 whole square. So, you will get 
x square minus x plus 1 equals to a into x minus 1 whole square plus b into x minus 1 into x plus 1 plus c into x plus 1. Okay. So, consider as equation 2. So, now I am going to write these two equations separately. x square x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square equals to a by x plus 1 plus b by x minus 1 plus c by x minus 1 whole square which is our equation 1 and x square minus x plus 1 equals to a into x minus 1 whole square plus b into x minus 1 into x plus 1 plus c into x plus 1 is our equation 2. Now consider x minus 1 let x minus 1 equals to 0, then x equals to 1. Now substitute x equals to 1 in equation 2. Okay. So we will get 2 implies. So this is our equation 2, right? 1 square minus 1 plus 1 equals to a into 1 minus 1 whole square plus b into 1 minus 1 into 1 plus 1 plus c into 1 plus 1. Okay. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, a becomes 0, a part. This part becomes 0 and 1 minus 1 equals to 0. So, obviously, the second term will be 0 and from this, you will get the value of c. So, this implies 1 minus, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So, you will get 1 equals to c into 1 plus 1 is 2. So, from this we will get 2c equals to 1. c equals to 1 by 2. So, therefore, c equals to 1 by 2. So, you got the value of c which is equals to 1 by 2. Okay. Now let x plus 1 equals to 0, x plus 1 equals to 0, then x equals to minus 1, okay, substitute x equals to minus 1 in equation 2, okay, now 2 implies now substitute x equals to minus 1. So minus 1 whole square into minus of minus 1 plus 1 equals to a into minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus b into minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 plus c into minus 1 plus 1. Okay. So here minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0. So the total b part will be 0. 0 into anything is 0. So this part will be equal to 0. Again, here so you are having minus 1 plus 1 which is 0. So, the third term is 0. So, you get the value of a. One minus 1 square is 1 minus into minus plus 1 plus 1 equals to a into minus 2 whole square. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So, 3 equals to a into minus 2 whole square is 4. So, from this you will get 4a equals to 3, then a equals to 3 by 4. So, therefore, a equals to 3 by 4. Okay. a equals to 3 by 4. Now, we have to find the value of b. So, to find the value of b, we need to compare the equations of x square. Okay. So, you can consider 
the equation to and compare the coefficient of x squared directly or else you can resolve not resolve you can simplify this to next step x squared minus x plus 1 equals to a into x minus 1 whole square is x squared plus 1 minus 2x plus b into x squared plus x minus x plus not plus minus into minus minus into plus is minus 1 plus c into x plus 1 okay so here you're having plus x minus x which is 0 so you get b into x square minus 1 now you can compare the question to x square okay comparing the question of x square we'll get 1 equals to a into x square so coefficient of x square is a plus so in the second part you are having the coefficient of x square is b okay you're having a plus b equals to 1 so we already have the value of a since a equals to 3 by 4. So now substitute the value of a. Then you get 1 equals to 3 by 4 plus b. This implies b equals to 1 minus 3 by 4. Okay. So this equals to 4 minus 3 by 4. 4 minus 3 is 1 by 4. So therefore b equals to 1 by 4. Okay, now we are having all the values of A, B, C or values of A, B, C. So now we can substitute the values of A, B, C in equation 1. Therefore, the values of a b c are a 3 by 4 b 1 by 4 c 1 by 2 okay now substitute now substitute A, B, C values in equation 1. Okay. We will get. We get. X squared minus X plus 1 by X plus 1 into X minus 1 whole square equals to A. A is 3 by 4 by x plus 1 plus b is 1 by 4 by x minus 1 plus c c is 1 by 2 by x minus 1 whole square okay so you can write it as x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square equals to 3 by 4 into x plus 1 plus 1 by 4 into x minus 1 plus 1 by 2 into x minus 1 whole square. Okay. So we have resolved the proper fraction into partial fractions. Therefore, x square minus x plus 1 by x plus 1 into x minus 1 whole square equals to 
3 by 4 into x plus 1 plus 1 by 4 into x minus 1 plus 1 by 2 into x minus 1 whole square. Okay, this completes the problem. So we have seen a video in this video. We have resolved the proper fraction into partial fractions. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.